kusiriki when heavens are open wakati mbingu zimefunguka now that we know that heavens are open vile tunajua kwamba mbingu zimefunguka what now happens nini kinatendeka when heavens are open wakati mbingu ziko wazi come with me to Matthew chapter number 2 verse 16 chona mimi katika madhayo sura ya 2 mstari 16 no Matthew chapter 3 sura ya 3 mstari 16 Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 Okay, let's read together in the word of the Lord. One, two, three. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. Uh -huh. At that moment, heaven was open. Ah, As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. And at that moment, heaven was he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and lighting on him bona sifiwe and that is what we try to capture by this banner because a dove represents the holy spirit when the heavens are open wakati mbingu imefunguka the holy spirit comes down and i dare declare to somebody here today the year 2019 Heavens are open. The Holy Spirit will minister to you. You need to connect with the Spirit of God. And make a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It involves telling the Holy Spirit to guide you every day. To come upon you. To give you inspirations of heaven. To give you new ideas. To protect and guide you. Cause you to have the right judgment. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the working power of God. If you are going to experience a life of miracles, it will be through the Holy Spirit. And the heavens were open. And the Spirit came upon Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, when Jesus was baptized, the heavens opened. The Holy Spirit came. And then the Bible says that God the Father. What did he say? And a voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love. And with him I am well pleased. From that point, let me show you four areas which brought a difference in the life of Jesus. And Jesus changed and grew in these areas. Lift up your hand with me, say, My father, my father. My 
In the year 2019, may you cause me to grow in wisdom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you raise your children, get wisdom. In your marriage, get wisdom. In your relationship, get wisdom. I will come back to that. But number two, Jesus grew in stature. Yes, you are Kimo. Now that what's the exactly? That Kimo stature. Your Kimo. It means growing or multiplying or increasing. Ile kujumuli kama kuongezeka. In size. Katika umbile. Going to the left, to the right, and whatever. You are increasing. Yani unaongezeka. Growing in stature. Kukuwa katika You start selling sukuma wiki. Unaanza kuusa sukuma. By March, by April, mwezi wa tatu wa hivi. You have already had the nyanya and sukuma and and the onions and you have added and you have started to grow. Yani umeongeza nyanya. Umeanza kupanuka. Panuka. When in stature, unapokuwa kwa kimo. It means that you start somewhere small. Inamanisa unanzia mahali kwa kimo. But you don't remain in that small thing. You start to enlarge. You start to enlarge. That is why Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter number 15, enlarge the place of your dwelling. Enlarge your tent. Make the steps bigger. We never started in this tent. We had a small tent. It was quarter of this building. After some time, we added another one. And after that, this is the third tent we are getting into. Why? Why? Because we believe we are growing. And this is not the end. We are building our, our sanctuary. It is an international auditorium. Rio and church building. Why? Wanini? We are growing in stature. Kwa kimo. Growing in stature. Kwa kimo. It means Ina today you are walking. Leo Tomorrow you have a mountain bike. Kesho uko na bike After that, you may have even a mountain. Unaweza pata hiyo mboda boda. Like my brother Titus. Kama ndugu yangu Tito. Where is Titus? Tito ameenda and ameenda. Uh, he has gone to the He has with his motorbike. Yeye yeah, ako na ile motorbike hiyo pikipiki yake. I'm sorry I was dedicating a motorbike of one of our brothers. And I, I remember the prayer I prayed. Juma I don't know got it. I told that motorbike to grow two other legs. Na ikuse migu ingine mbili. Two other wheels. Migu ingine mbili. Right now it has two wheels. Before the end of the year, that motorbike will grow two other wheels. Why? There is an anointing to grow in stature. Where you are is not permanent. You need to grow. Growing in stature. Hear me. It will remove you from the back and bring you in front. Growing in stature. It will make you. If you are living in a 10 by a 10 servant quarter. Kama unaishi kwa hiyo nyumba kumi kwa kumi. By the end of this year. Ba, mwisho wa mwaka huu. You are no longer going to look for servant quarters. Au tatafuta chumba cha watenda kazi. You will go to the main house. Utaenda kwa nyumba ya mwewe. You will go to the main house. Nasema utaingia kwa nyumba ya mwewe. You have lived in the servant quarters long enough. Umeishi kwa hiyo chumba cha watenda kazi kwa muda mrefu. Now you are the one to live in the main house. Sasa ni wewe uishi kwa nyumba ya mwewe. For the servant quarters of the main house where you are living. Na watu wengine watafute hicho chumba cha watenda kasi mahali umekuwa ukiishi. I declare so. Nina tangasa hivyo. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Katika china rabona yesu. When you are growing in stature. Unapo kuwa kwa kimo. It means. Ina maanisha. That you are progressing. Ya kuwa mba unasonga mbele. You are not stagnant. Wewe au kwami. You are not static. 
moving presence. That by a kumi kwa kumi mabati. By the end of the year, mwisho wa mwaka, it will change. Ita bandirika. Into a one bedroom house. Iwe nyumba ya chumba cha kula ati moto. One bedroom house. Na iyo nyumba ya chumba cha kula. It is supposed to change to a two bedroom. Ina stairi ibandirika iwe ya chumba mbili cha kula ara kwa nini? You are growing in the stature. Una kuwa kwa kimo. I don't see where are the people who are growing. Mimi ni sioni watu na kuwa kwa kimo. That means whether they. Wale wana kuwa kwa kimo. That means whether they can see people. Somebody lift the bias. 2019 I declare I declare I am growing I am growing in wisdom in wisdom and in stature and in stature in the name of the Lord Jesus in Jesus name shake somebody your neighbor tell them my status is changing ambia kimo changu kinabandilika tell them my status is changing kimo changu cha bandilika in the name of the Lord Jesus wa china rabwana yesu hallelujah 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 let me tell you you must measure whether you are growing in stature or you are stagnant or you are dying. Lasima upime kama unakuwa kwa kimo ama umesimama mahali pamoja ama unakufa. Amen. Amen. If you are a person who believes you can never wear a suit, change grow in stature. Sama kutoka leo nitaanza kuvaa suit. Kama wewe ni jamaa ambaye aanza kuamua ya kwamba kuanzia leo Nitavaa masuti. Why? Kwa nini? If you cannot go to an interview in the house of the president in the in the office of the president wearing casual yeah. that day is the day you know you are supposed to wear a suit and a tie. Yeah. Why can't you wear a suit and a tie yeah. when you are coming to worship your God? Yeah, kama wewe sienda kwa interview ama kwa Why? nyumba ya, ya president kukutana na rais ukiwa umefanya change. Lazima ubadilike in your mind. Katika akili yako. You must say. Lazima useme. This is my season. Hii ni I don't want to remain where I started. Mimi sitaki kukaa mahali nilianzia. Nataka nikue kwa kimo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. How many are with me Bwana asifiwe? Wangapi mko na mimi? That is for Pius and Sam. Eh, hey, hata njagu alipoenda kwa president alifaa suit. That is for Pius and Sam and the other guys. Na wengine. Why? Kwa nini? You want to change what? Yes. <laughs> kimo. Kupandilisa. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Have at least 2 3. Why? When there are places you want to go yeah. and there are places you will not go yes. unless you change your image kuna sehemu utaenda na kuna sehemu utaenda mpaka ubandilise vile unafaa shake somebody up tell them be ready for growth uwe tayari kwa ukuaji uwe tayari kwa ukuaji hallelujah hallelujah how many are with me how many are with me yes i be the lord amen you must go in stature lazima ukue kwa kimo what it means to grow in stature if you divine maanisa kukua kwa kimo number 3 ya tatu jesus grew in favor with the god yesu akakuwa akikubarika na mungu na favor with the god na mungu favor with the god kibali na mungu bless be the name of the lord jina la bwana lisifiwe favor with the god kibali na mungu lift up your hand everybody Kila say mungu. my father my father my father my father in the year 2019 in the year 2019 may you give me favor may you give me favor with yourself with yourself in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus. i am in record i have ever said here nimesa why sema hivi imenakiriwa god's favor kibali cha mungu will take you further itakubereka itakupeleka mbali than human labor kuliko bidii ya mwanadamu i don't care how hard working you are mimi sijali wewe una bidii kiasi gani if you don't connect with god's favor kama utaunganisha na kibali cha mungu you are hard work will only remain hard work sasa hiyo bidii yako itabaki kuwa bidii those people who are trust god's favor wale watu wanafutia kibali cha mungu they accomplish more wanatimiza mengi and they accomplish faster na wanatimiza kwa kasi than those people who are very hard working kuliko watu ambao wana bidii ya mchwa plus their labor na hiyo bidii yao i don't mean you need not work hard mimi si maana si usiwe na bidii you must work hard lazima ufanye kasi kwa bidii but you must attract god's favor lakini lazima ufutie kibari cha mungu the bible says biblia inasema psalm 106 verse number 4 saburi 106 Psalm 106 verse 4. Mustari wa 4. Everybody read with me. 1 2 3. Remember, Remember me, O Lord, when, when you show favor to your people, people. Come to my aid when, when you save them. Read it again. 1 2 3. Remember me, me. O Lord, when, when you 
show favor to your people. Come to my aid. When, when you, you say them, them, everybody lift up your hands Kira mtu inua mkono wako. and make it a prayer. Now if any of say, my father, my father, my father, my father, in the year 2019, in the year 2019, remember me, remember me with your favor, with your favor. When you show favor, when you show favor to your people, to your people, come to my aid, come to my aid. When you say them, when you say in them. Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen, amen. Number four. Jesus had favor with men. Yes, alikuwa na kibari na watu. He had favor with men. Alikuwa na kibari na wanadamu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to know. Nataka ufahamu. When you have favor with God, unapokuwa na kibari na Mungu, automatically, moja kwa moja, it gives you favor with men. Inakupatia kibari na watu. And it does not go the other way around. Na yende kinyume. You must if you get favor with men, you lose favor with God. Ukipata kibali na wanadamu, unapoteza kibali na Mungu. So you must be very careful. Lazima uwe mwangalifu. Don't be a person who looks favor with men. Usitafute mtu akutafuta kibali na wanadamu. Now Paul says, don't you know friendship with the world is enmity with God? Paulo anasema, "Je, au fahamu kwamba kuwa na urafiki na dunia ni kuwa na uadui na Mungu?" Who are busy looking for friendship with the world? They lose God's friendship. Wale watu ambao wana suguri nyingi kutafuta kibali na wanadamu wanapotesa urafiki wa Mungu. That very busy looking for friendship with the God, they gain friendship with the people. Lakini watu ambao wana juhudi ya kutafuta urafiki na Mungu wanapata urafiki na wanadamu. When you get favor with the God, wakati umepata kibari na Mungu, it opens your doors wherever you go. Inafungua milango mahali popote uendapo. It opens the doors for your visa, for your international doors. Inafungua milango kwa visa, kwa milango ya kimataifa. God makes sure that men have no choice but to open the doors for you. Mungu anasababisha wanadamu awana chaguo ila kufungua milango kwa ajili yako. So, that with notice the way it is written. Having favor with God, one vile imeanakiriwa akiwa na kibari na Mungu. Having favor with the men. Na wanadamu. It does not start by having favor with the men and having favor with God. No. Aianzi ya kwamba akawa na kibari na wanadamu na Mungu. It starts with Favor with God? Yes, kibari na Mungu. That is what gives you favor with men. Hiyo ndiyo inakupa kibari kwa wanadamu. Are you hearing me? Je, unanisikiza? 2019 2019. 2019 Hear 2019. The word of the Lord. Sikiza neno la Mungu. Hear the word of the Lord. Sikiza neno la Mungu. You are command you may amuliswa to make everyone in this altar. Kusababisha kila mtu kwa hima baba. To have favor with God. Awe na kibari na mungu. Have also favor with the man. Na pate na kibari na wanada. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Katika china la bwana Yesu. To be honest with you. Kuwa wasi nani? Right now, the only good example that comes in my mind. Kile ilem fano msuri tu inakuja kwa mawasiliano. Ni ayubu. Job. Ayubu. When he got this got hairwire. Wakati mambo yake ilienda mbaya he sought favor with God alitafuta kibali na Mungu he never connected himself to his friends akujiunganisha na marafiki zake he connected with God lakini alijiunganisha na Mungu by the time his wife is telling him why with all this nonsense why can't you cast God and you die and we bury you Wakati mke wake anamwambia yu pusi yote kwa nini usilaani Mungu na uke uko fisike anamwambia kwa nini we unaongea kama mwanamke wa kimataifa tu Look at you. Angalia we. Leave me alone. Niache. He never wanted to 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 lose favor with the God. Akutaka kupotesa kibali na Mungu. Shortly after that, na muda mfupi baada ya hiyo, the favor of men came to him. Sasa kibali cha wanadamu kikamjia. God commanded people. Mungu akamlisa watu. Come to Job 42. Kuja Ayubu 42. And verse number 7. By the way, I will take time to teach this on detail. The issue of, I will teach on wisdom. I will teach on stature. I will teach on favor with God. Only this is the dokezo. Amen. Not today. I will teach them in the course of time. Itafanya kwa siku moja. So don't worry. 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 Don after the Lord had said these things to Job, he said to Eliphaz, the Tenanite, I am angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken of me 
what is right as my servant job be. Do you see that? Yes. What is God saying? Mungu anasema nini? This guy called Elivas. Huyu jamaa anaitwa Elivas. The tena mind of kila alikuwa anakuranga hii tamaiti. Mtamaiti. He was a tena mighty. Huyu mtamaiti. God says I am angry with you. Anasema nimekasirika na wewe. With your two friends. Now my best wako wawili. God does not say you and my two Mungu asemi wewe na marafiki wako wawili. These were people who did not have favor with God. Hao ni watu hawako wana kibari na Mungu. They only made friendship with other men. Walifanya tu urafiki na watu wengine. So tell him. Mungu anawaambia, you wewe and your two friends. Nao marafiki zako wawili. I am very angry with you. Nimekasirika sana na nyinyi. Because of the way you have dealt with my servant kwa vile mumemsugulikia mtumishi wangu Ayubu. Now go to verse 8. Sasa enda mstari wa 8. Everybody see read with me verse number 8. 1 2 So now take seven pools and seven lambs and go to my servant Job and sacrifice a burnt offering for yourselves. My servant Job will pray for you and I will accept his prayer and, and not deal with you according to your fault. You have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has done. Hallelujah! Amen. How many are with me? Bless you the Lord and the Lord. Lift up your hand and say, My Father, my Father. My Father, my Father. In the year 2019. In the year 2019. May I have favor with you. May I have favor with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So God tells this man, You have done evil. Me fanya wolf. If I deal with you the way you deserve. Yani kama nitawasugurikia vile mnastahili nyinyi. None of you will remain you will go to your grave early. Nyinyi mtaenda kaburini mapema. To avoid that. Ili nisifanye hivyo. Take seven bulls. Chukueni dume sana. Na na kondoo. Take them to the servant job. Na mpelekee mtumishi wangu wa Yesu. Sacrifice. Kama dhabiu. He will pray for you. Atawaombea. And I will hear his prayer. Not your prayer. Sio maombi yenu. Nitasikia maombi yake. I will hear his prayer. Maombi yake. So that I may not deal with you. Ili nisiwasugulikie. This guy had to do so. Hao jamaa ilibidi wafanye hivyo. Do you know what amazes me in this scripture? Unajua kile kinanishangaza kwa hii maandiko. Especially the verse that follow. Asa ile andiko linafuata. Let me show you something you have never seen. Kitu ambacho hujawahi kuona. Let me show you. Everybody read with me. So all if I stand and I feel that the Shunite and so far that the Nevites did what the Lord told them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. Go to verse 10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made his prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. As he had before. Born at Kuzwe Sana. What about the other fast that follow? Verse 11. Now, this is what amazed me. Everybody, one, two, three. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. This is what I saw. Because all during the time of the problems of Job, nowhere <laughs> they said he had brothers and sisters. Have you ever heard that Job had brothers and sisters? Nini mulisikia Ayubu? Ayubu alikuwa na ndugu na dada. Mulisikia hiyo? Tuongeane, tuongeane nani ukweli? Wapi ulisikia wapi? Hakuna. Ndugu na dada. Wakati wa shida zake nobody among his brothers and sisters appear. Yaani wakati wa problem zake hakuna na hakuna mahali popote ndugu na dada walitokelezea. But when God remembered him, lakini wakati Mungu amemkumbuka for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza we see brothers and sisters they are now Tunaona ndugu na dada wanatokelezea. Wanakuja kufanya nini sasa? I am asking. They are coming. Wanakuja nini? They are coming to do what? Kuikukura. Wanakuja kufanya nini? 
you chose Mwambie wanakuja musos Musos Mwambie wanakuja kukura wanakuja kumanga Hallelujah Hey Aye brother say to you as a man of God Ninakutabiria kama mtu wa Mungu today as a man of God Ninakutabiria kama mtumishi wa Mungu Yakwamba with God will give you favor with men Yakwamba kibari na Mungu kitakupatia kibari na wanadamu Those your brothers and sisters who have neglected you God is going to change everything for you Why they will come and they shall eat from your table in the name of the Lord Jesus Why ndugu na ndanda ambao wamekuwa dharau na wamekuachiria Mungu atabandiliza mambo na watakuja kukutafuta kwa jina la Yesu God is going to restore you Kama Mungu wako ataenda kukurejesha God will restore your fortune God will restore your glory God will restore Mungu atarejesha kibari chako atarejesha afya atarejesha utukufu wako Those of your brothers and sisters who until now they don't want to see you they will come looking for you no. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Nao ndugu na danda ambao waja kuwa kitamani kukuona wataanza kukutafuta kwa jina la Yesu Not only that na sio hiyo tu All those people who knew you wale watu wote walikufahamu they will come watakuja Can I say something Niseme kitu Let me say this Wacha niseme hii God never provide food for you Mungu akutwali chakula wewe Now listen Sikisa According to Psalm 23 Kulingana na Saburi 23 The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd I will not want He makes me lie down in green pastures He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies Yakomba anaandaa mesa mbele ya macho ya ndui zangu What is a table sasa kuna mesa. A table, mesa. It is like ni meza yenye iko na katrali, iko na kisu, iko na naifu. iko na vikombe grass yenye ni bure, eh, iko na kisu, kisu, kisu iko na kijiko ile ya suko, iko na homa, homa iko na fork. Na iko na kijiko kubwa kijiko ingine iko na sahani na, na kuna, side plate na kuna hiyo na kuna hiyo na kuna tudi pick na kitu ya kujifunga hapa na kitu ya kujifunga imetengenezwa yes. imewekwa katikati hiyo si ndimwagie chakula hakuna chakula hakuna hiyo ndiyo mesa when the bible says he lays a table before me yes. it does not say hiyo mesa iko na chakula haina Ai, chakula haina ni hizo vitu iko set imesetiwa imesetiwa Yes. Na grasi merara. Imerara chini. Hata maji hakuna. Mesa. Hakuna. Ni? Haimewekwa sinia na. Haina. Lakini haina chakula. Si mnaelewa mnaelewa sasa? Sasa swali ni moja. Swali ni hili. Where does the food come from? Hiyo chakula inatokanga wapi? And I heard the Lord speak to me. Na nikaisi bwana akinisungumzia. The food is supplied by your enemies. Hiyo chakula inaletangwa na maadui zako. God will cause your enemies to bring food on your table. Mungu atasababisha maadui zako walete chakula katika meza yako. Kasi yao itakuwa wafanye kasi kwa bidii, walete chakula kwa mesa yao.